I'm here at Bender's Landing at Liberty Park, and I'm here to do a uh, best shot or best throw doubles challenge using five different molds, uh, two discs of each type. So I've got two ABRs, two darts, two rocks, two T-birds, and two Thunderbirds. And I'm going to essentially try a, uh, uh, a different sort of uh, best shot doubles. I'm going to be doing a back and forward challenge, which means I'm going to throw at least once with backhand and then a subsequent throw with forehand, and I'll take the best shot of those two. This is nine holes, and we're going to see how this plays. T Bird. Hole two, I don't think I'm going to get much distance out of all those trees. It's highly likely I'm going to hit one, so I'm going to take my two slightly overstable mid ranges, the rocks, and uh, see what I can do with them. So it looks my, like my backhand was a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and use this marker to place in front of it so I can use these two overstable mid ranges again for my next upshot. Okay, it looks like my forehand was a little bit better. I don't know what I was thinking with that last backhand attempt but I'm going to go ahead and try my two putters to get closer towards the basket. Marker down, mid-range out of the way. I think I've got a putt with that, but maybe I can get a little bit better with my fore, forearm, forehand, sidearm. Ooh, no. All right, I'm going to take my next shot from there. I'm going to use a marker so I can use both of these putters. Alright, off in the distance, 300 plus feet is the basket. I'm going to go ahead and use my two distance drivers because they're both in champion plastic and should take the possible impact of any trees a little bit better than the DX plastic uh, options that I could throw. Plus these could in theory get me a little bit more distance. We'll see how it goes. Okay, the wind is really fierce blowing that way, so my uh, approach to the basket is going to be really tough. Fortunately, I have two tries at this.
no surprise there's tons of wind and of course it's facing this way roughly or like that way uh, directly in the center of your screen about 300 feet or more that way is the basket tons of water here I'm going to try not to lose one or both of these discs in the water so I'm going to air uh, towards that side and we're going to see how this goes This is close enough to use my putter, so I'm going to try the next. Unfortunately, with both of my throws, the wind carried both of them away from the basket. I'm going to go ahead and try to play a little conservatively and get these as close to the basket as possible. If I get one that could result in a tap in, I'll try to run the second one. We'll see how this goes. That's the safe bid. Now here's me going for it. Wow, the wind picked that one up. All right, live and learn. Alrighty, off in the distance, about 310 feet or whatever, I'm going to throw my two distance drivers and hopefully none of them end up in the lake. One ended up in the lake. Alrighty, so I lost one of my foundlings. It's a disc, probably worth about $10 right now. But it went to the lake, and it went too deep for me to even see where exactly it's at. So, you know, I've come to accept that I'm going to lose some of these discs occasionally, and unfortunately today I lost one. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to throw my overstable mid-ranges, and hopefully they'll cut through the wind a little bit better and not be as victimized. And I'm going to try to get it uh, closer to the basket. Wow. Alright, it's time to break out my putters. Alright, some more putting action. Alright, I've got two possible throws here with my T-Birds, so let's see what I can do. All right, here I am with the basket behind me, the disc right there. And uh, so I've got my two uh, putters and a marker. So I'm gonna put the marker in front of the disc so I can have a little bit more room between the tree and the end of the lie. And then I'm gonna try to throw them both towards there and hopefully not <laughs> lose them in the lake. Same rules apply, I'm going to use a marker, use my two putters, try to get it in. All 
Alright, 288 feet directly that way, somewhat over the lake, is the next basket. So I'm going to try to be more conservative and throw that way. Alright, the basket is up ahead. I'm not going to worry about setting a marker down. I'm going to go ahead and uh, putt a little bit. Here we go, another set of putts. Okay, so I was too far to make it, too close to not run it. I don't have any regrets. I needed to run those. All right, I'm not going to throw with the max power. I just want to try to get these down the way. <laughs> I've not had too much luck fighting these trees. I've mostly hit them and lost. But anyways, going to go ahead and see what I can do with these T-birds. Alrighty, the basket's a fair bit behind me. I'm going to choose my putters again to get them as close as possible to the basket. Drop in. My camera there is where my other disc was, so both of them are close, but this is close. My T-Birds and Aviars are doing all my work for me. Anyways, the next one is 261 feet or so that way, uh, and I'm going to try to play these conservatively. There are dogs barking over there, so I need to quickly get to my disc and throw before they freak out. All right, I'm gonna, I have two shots to try to get this in the basket. That's uh, gonna do it for this little misadventure. I did worse than I expected. Actually, in a lot of holes I did better than expected, but when I made mistakes, I made big ones. I've lost a disc, among other things. Anyways, that's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.